guys, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, today is going to be another creative makeup look. I know I've done quite a few of these lately, but this is sort of like, it's my way of trying something new just because every time I sit down to film something for YouTube, I just don't know like what to do outside of reviews. So yes, today I'm going to be attempting a donut look. This is inspired by Katie Elizabeth, but if my phone will focus and I don't think I'm going to go as far as doing like the candies but I think I'm going to do the donut for sure because I love donuts so as usual I'll voice over the tutorial portion and let's get started okay so the very first thing I'm going to try to do is make my eyebrows disappear or the one eyebrow where the donut's going to be I have never done this before this is literally my first time so I don't even know if I'm doing it correctly but I'm taking the purple Elmer's glue and just brushing that up with my spoolie as well to really get my brow hairs to stick. The idea is that you want this to be a very smooth surface so that all the makeup on top goes on smoothly. And I'm trying to let the layers of glue dry in between each layer. So I think after like about three layers, I was like, that's enough of that. Grabbed some setting powder and really worked its way packing it in there just to make sure it's not sticky anymore so I can work on top of it. Because my eyebrow hairs are so dark, I am taking some orange liquid lipstick to try to color correct and also putting on some concealer around and on top of that and I will make sure to list all the products that I've used down in the description box so you guys can see exactly what I used for this. Next I'm going to take some foundation and blend that all over my face kind of per usual like all my other makeup looks. I'm putting it also again on top of my eyebrow just because it's a little bit different color than the concealer I was using. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my other eyebrow with some eyebrow pencil, kind of how I usually do it. And then taking the same eyebrow pencil, I'm going to outline where the donut's going to be. So I think the idea is that the your eye pokes out through the donut hole, like you're looking through the donut type thing. And then I'm drawing the donut, you know, the outside, the inside, but also drawing in where the icing will sort of spill over the donut and where it's going to be on top of the donut. And then she also put in like a, somebody took a bite out of the donut. So I'm going to do that too. It's basically just like a squiggly, like half circle crescent shape. I hope it'll look better later. But yes, just doing that outline with the pencil. And then what I'm doing is I have mixed some face paint. So I'm just using the Mehron Paradise face paints for like basically all of this moving forward. And I've mixed sort of like a light brown color. But as I was doing this, I was like, hmm, maybe it's not dark enough. So I actually added some more brown and went over it as well. So you'll see that it's a little bit darker here. But where the inside of the dough peeks out, where the bite has been taken out of the donut, I could not mix like a good, like a good enough cream color for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a really light concealer. It'll work out. You got to use what you got, you know? So I'm going to do a strawberry donut because my favorite ice donut is strawberry. But as I was starting with the pink, I realized I forgot to actually paint the donut on the inside. So I just went back real quick and did that before going back to the pink. So the pink, I did mix like a lighter pink with like a white in this palette. And I was having a little bit of trouble because it was a little bit streaky. And so having to layer layers of it just to get it to be kind of pretty opaque. And then I also at some point like disregarded the line that I drew with the icing because I felt like there was too much donut on the outside. So I was like going over that line and filling in sort of more than originally planned because I want a very, very iced donut, I guess. <laughs> So then I am going to start on the shading. So I'm taking some white face paint and just really stippling and dabbing that into where the top of the donut would be as it's laying on my face. That way it really highlights and catches light or it looks like it's catching light. And then I'm taking a darker pink and shading in the edges of the icing right near the actual donut. That way it looks a little more recessed. And then I'm going to get to work on the sprinkles. So I'm basically taking a bunch of different colors and a thin paintbrush and trying to paint on some sprinkles very randomly. The part that I was frustrated with on this was that the brush kept making like sharp ends on the sprinkles, but sprinkles have rounded edges and it was just like taking a lot of work to get that to look correct. But I think I, I think it's okay. Some of them definitely look more like shards than sprinkles, but it is what it is. And then I took the white face paint and started highlighting the tops of the sprinkles. So just shading in a little bit on most sprinkles to show that, you know, the light is catching that. 
and then I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow and shading in the bite so there's some shadow there some crumbles and then I'm gonna go around the outside of the donut as well the brown eyeshadow will just make it look a little bit more recessed and how it's like rounding out and try to make it look a little more 3d and then because I'm crazy I guess I'm also doing that for every sprinkle on the donut to make it look like the donut the sprinkles are like really elevated above the icing which it is this part just took like forever so yes <laughs> losing my patience but here we go we are shading in the inside of the donut as well I'm using my finger to sort of also like smear and blend out the eyeshadow on the face paint because it wasn't blending as well as I wanted it to and then I'm taking a bronzer and starting to shade in the very bottom of the donut. That way it looks more 3D. I'm basically just trying to do everything I can to make it look more 3D. And then I'm also going to contour my face. So next, because the donut, the fried donut part was looking a little bit dark, I'm going back in with like the very first tan color that I started with, the one that I thought was too light. And I'm just going to highlight parts of the donut right next to the icing so that it doesn't look quite so burnt I guess so that's basically it for the donut part and I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face I'm going to put a pink blush on and pink eyeshadow basically just trying to get the rest of my face to look like a cohesive look with this pink donut so a very basic like pink eyeshadow look with some pink shimmer and that way it matches the donut but doesn't draw attention away from it I'm also going to pop on some lashes because a look is never finished without lashes and some highlight as well and on the donut side I am going around sort of like the high points and just highlighting it a little bit but not too much because you don't want it to look shiny so next I'm just finishing off my lips with yes some more pink and that's it so that is it for my tutorial attempt at this donut look I actually like how it turned out I think next time uh, I just have to cover my eyebrow a little bit better and I kind of wish like the don't like the donut color was not so close to my skin tone but what can you do I didn't want to like keep making it darker because then it would look kind of burnt anyway I really enjoyed creating this for you guys and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye